Hello, Katia. How was your Hello. day? Hi, thank you, teacher. How about you? Pretty good. A lot of work, but it's the life, right? <laughs> but you like your work. <laughs> yes, I like my job, so it's okay. It's no problem. Yes, me too. <laughs> Excellent. Mm -hmm. Yesterday, my connection was bad, teacher. Yes, I saw that you had some problems for some moments and staying. Yes, I try and I try, but the the song isn't work. I don't know why. Sometimes is sometimes when you have bad connection, only remove the camera. And when you stop the camera, it's better because the only the audio is not the problem. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. So if you have bad connection or it's slow, only the camera stop and then only only you listen and then you can participate. Okay. Well, we're working in group, groups. In the mm -hmm. first time we work in, in, in groups. And then after that, uh, I lost my <laughs> totally. Yes. Yes. I yes. I could I could couldn't I, I don't know participate. Mm -hmm. Yes, I couldn't. I couldn't participate. But, but today it's okay. okay. Well, Your internet today, today it's okay. It looks okay. Yes, today. Yes. Maybe because yesterday it was raining. Hello. Ah, uh, yes. And before that. Mm -hmm. It's true. Sometimes when it rains, is the you have bad internet. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, today is only you, but we are going to learn a little bit about uh, describing and different vocabulary. Um, Maida is here. Yes, and we're Maida. Going to see. Yeah. Yes, teacher. Hey, Mayra. Okay. Katya, please read the objective. Okay, teacher. <laughs> At the end of this section, participants will be able to talk about how people have changed, changed, I don't know. Changed? Changed and practice, changed and practice using the vocabulary. Okay. So the idea is first, describing yourself so first think about how have you changed okay so here we have some expressions Mayra can you please read here okay describing how describing how you changed I used to be but now I am I am more no I enjoy describing mm -hmm. How would you like to change? I'm interested in, I like to be more. Okay, so you can see is two different. One is for the past and one is for the future. In the past is the D, I used to be, okay? Or now you use the word, for example, I'm more, I'm more now. For example, I'm more intelligent now, uh, I'm, or you can use comparative, not necessary more. For example, I'm smarter, okay? I'm prettier, okay? Or I'm taller now, I enjoy and then they like. But if you're going to talk about the future, how you want to change for the future is, I'm interested in learning more languages, okay? Or I'd like to be more and then the description. In this moment, we're going to watch a small video and learn a little bit how to describe changes. Welcome. You know, most people change over the years. How have you changed, let's say, over the last five years? What do you want to change now? Complete the following chart. How have you changed? Describing how you've changed. I used to be, but now I'm, I'm more, 
Now I enjoy. Describing how would you like to change. I'm interested in. I'd like to be more. Three things I've changed. Three things I would like to change. Now that you have completed the chart, discuss your information with a partner. Try asking follow-up questions. Okay, let me put the chart one I'd more like time. In this moment, with our partners, we are going to describe three things that you've changed and three things that you'd like to change. It can be anything. It can be physical, spiritually, uh, economically, okay? Whatever you like is not necessary only one. You can say, for example, uh, I used to be oh, or I was, okay? Whatever you like, whatever you were. I used to be... Uh, I used to be less educated, but now I have a degree, or uh, I used to speak only Spanish, but now I speak English, okay? So we're gonna have the different things. And then also how you want to change for the future. So three past and three future, three and three. This is the idea for describing changes, okay? First, are there any vocabulary, any words that you'd like to know? No? No. Okay, great. So 1.4, you're going to describe with your partner three ways that you changed and in the future, three ways that you want to change. What do you want to do in the future? I want to have long hair, okay? I used to have long hair, but now from Tulo, I as a big, now I am bald, for example, okay? Or maybe like Katya, maybe Katya used to have short hair and now she has longer hair. Remember, use the comparatives to describe the things and how they are different. Okay, let's take a few moments with our partners, three and three, three in the past and three for the future. Listen again. Which person do you think would be more likely to do these things this weekend? Check Marcos or Heather. One, Marcos. Well, I guess the biggest change in my life over the last five years is that I got married. You know, I used to be into going out with friends every weekend and staying out late. We were pretty wild and crazy back then. Now, I'm more of a family man. I don't mind staying at home, watching TV, that kind of thing. I'm even learning to cook. It's not so bad. I guess you could say that I started to grow up. I wasn't so interested in going out all the time. I was ready to settle down and have a family. I have to be honest, my heart wasn't really in the right place before. I mean, before I didn't mind being, well, a little irresponsible at times, even selfish. I was always out having fun with my friends, but I never wanted to hear about their problems. I just didn't care. But with my wife and little boy, it's different. I'm trying to become more, you know, more kind and generous. I want to be there to help them out, no matter how small the problem. Two, Heather. I have to say, five years ago, I was a completely different person. I never said much in a crowd, and I always tried to avoid making small talk with people I didn't know very well. But really, I was just incredibly shy and reserved. Anyway, then I went away to college, and I had this roommate, Nora. She had a great sense of humor and laughed at all my jokes. That really gave me a lot of confidence. Nora and I joined a small study group at school. When we finish studying, a bunch of us go out for coffee. Conversation is easy because we all have a lot of the same interests. Now, my new friends think of me as the funny one in the group. 
Can you believe it? So I'd say I'm much more friendly and outgoing now. I don't worry about speaking up and giving my opinion anymore. In fact, I'm thinking about joining a few more clubs so I can meet even more new people and do more things. I've liked Katya, did you have any problems? Okay, let's take a look then. Let's see how we got it. So let's see, Maritza, explain about Miguel three past and three future. How has he changed and how is he going to change? Uh, he said that he used to live in San Salvador and now he lives in Quezalpec. And another thing is that he used, he used to wear a formal pants and now he wears jeans. And another thing that has changed is that he, he was single. Uh, 17 years ago and now uh, uh, and then he married so he has a uh, 17 years married oh, wow okay <laughs> very long time <laughs> <laughs> all right and what about the future how does he want uh, to change for the future we didn't uh, have time to to talk about the future i just mentioned two things about the future but it was about me Okay, good. Miguel, tell me about Maritza. What did you learn? Uh, Maritza, she was, you said, a short hair. Uh, she, um, she used to have short hair? Yes, yes. Uh, now you said long hair. Uh, it, she, you said, she, she was, you said, choose choose uh hella choose no use it miguel no use it no she use it use two use, use two okay correct use two. she used to hella choose and now you said sandalias she used to she used to correct now uh -huh. use, use two, two. Uh -huh. sandalias okay. Sandals. Uh, Sandals. Sandals. Mm -hmm. is 
I, she, she was uh, with pets in your house. No, no in my house. In, in, she, in her house, her okay. house. Okay. In her house, uh, now, right now is non pets because uh, her children is sick because allergy. Ah. Yes, yes. It's mm -hmm. uh, pets in her house. And future, uh, he is going to uh, he... learn in English. She, she okay. going to learn in English. Uh, to learn? Very, mm -hmm. very good. It's future and I... is only, only. Okay, all right. Good no problem. That's good. That's the idea. Don't worry about the mistakes. Mistakes are normal, Miguel. Mistakes okay. are part of the process. The important is to correct the mistakes. Okay. That's good. Thanks, You're welcome. Nelsie, tell me about Sirhan. Okay, teacher. Uh, he used to a long hair, but now he he has a short hair. But the time is it wasn't enough to talk about. That's the only thing we we can only one talk sentence. about. <laughs> yes. Only one yes. sentence in five minutes. Mm, yes. Okay. Yes. But I mm. can share my my sentence. Let me see, Sirhan. Sirhan, what did you learn about me? Yes, I know. Yes, I don't have a time for for the the yes. sentence. No problem. Tell me about Nelsie. What did you learn about Nelsie? Okay. I used to be late all the time, but, um, but, I know, but now I'm trying to be on time. Okay, okay. Wait, but Sirhan, you, you have no information about Nelsie. No, 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 because first, uh, read the, the, oh, see the, the video, the yes. call for X. Uh -huh. explain the yes because the i time. because i am um, i was late on the no class. problem don't worry Nancy, don't worry little by little we get to learn it's okay all right marcela tell me about marielos yes uh, marielos said that she used to read books but now uh, she can read more because of her problem with her eyes. Mm. Yeah. And also, she said that she used to walk, walk in the morning, I remember, but now he can't do it. He? She, sorry, okay. she can do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And mm -hmm. only. No, no. Only, only Marielos. Only Marielos. Okay. Okay. Marielos, tell me about Oli. Hey, Oli has a problem with her microphone. Uh, okay. But she said that. She used to play basketball. Only, only that <laughs> I I listen to her. Okay, okay, no problem, no problem. Oli, what did you hear about Marcela? What did you learn about Marcela? Okay. Uh, so sorry. Um, a problem the Microsoft. The microphone, the the telephone. Ah, okay. You, you, I not listen. Uh, yes, no okay. listen. Okay. No problem. Remember, Oli, is I didn't listen. I, I didn't, didn't listen. Okay. okay. Good. Thank you. Good. Hey, you're welcome. All right. No problem. Thank you so much. All right, guys. So in this moment, we have the idea of how to describe. Don't worry. We are taking a look one more time. Here is the example. I used to 
is before yes and now no. And we are describing how you change, okay? Today, we're gonna go ahead and continue and we're going to do a listening exercise. So in this moment, listen, listen and tell me about the two people, okay? So listen and tell me what you understand about the two people. Are you ready? Yes. Yes. Okay. yes. yes. Notes, you're going to have to remember. Listen again. Which person do you think would be more likely to do these things this weekend? Check Marcos or Heather. One, Marcos. Well, I guess the biggest change in my life over the last five years is that I got married. You know, I used to be into going out with friends every weekend and staying out late. We were pretty wild and crazy back then. Now, I'm more of a family man. I don't mind staying at home, watching TV, that kind of thing. I'm even learning to cook. It's not so bad. I guess you could say that I started to grow up. I wasn't so interested in going out all the time. I was ready to settle down and have a family. I have to be honest, my heart wasn't really in the right place before. I mean, before I didn't mind being, well, a little irresponsible at times, even selfish. I was always out having fun with my friends, but I never wanted to hear about their problems. I just didn't care. But with my wife and little boy, it's different. I'm trying to become more, you know, more kind and generous. I want to be there to help them out, no matter how small the problem. Two, Heather. I have to say, five years ago, I was a completely different person. I never said much in a crowd, and I always tried to avoid making small talk with people I didn't know very well. But really, I was just incredibly shy and reserved. Anyway, then I went away to college, and I had this roommate, Nora. She had a great sense of humor and laughed at all my jokes. That really gave me a lot of confidence. Nora and I joined a small study group at school. When we finish studying, a bunch of us go out for coffee. Conversation is easy because we all have a lot of the same interests. Now, my new friends think of me as the funny one in the group. Can you believe it? So I'd say I'm much more friendly and outgoing now. I don't worry about speaking up and giving my opinion anymore. In fact, I'm thinking about joining a few more clubs so I can meet even more new people and do more things. Okay. It's okay or one more time? One more, one more time. time. One, more time. one more time. Remember, it's a lot of information. Take notes. You're not going to remember. You need to describe how the two people have changed, how they were before <laughs> and how they are now. A moment, teacher. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. uh -huh. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Uh huh. It's okay. All right. Here we go. Listen again. Which person do you think would be more likely to do these things this weekend? Check Marcos or Heather. One, Marcos. Well, I guess the biggest change in my life over the last five years is that I got married. You know, I used to be into going out with friends every weekend and staying out late. We were pretty wild and crazy back then. Now, I'm more of a family man. I don't mind staying at home, watching TV, that kind of thing. I'm even learning to cook. It's not so bad. I guess you could say that I started to grow up. I wasn't so interested in going out all the time. I was ready to settle down and have a family. I have to be honest, my heart wasn't really in the right place before. I mean, before I didn't mind being, well, a little irresponsible at times, even selfish. I was always out having fun with my friends, but I never wanted to hear about their problems. I just didn't care. But with my wife and little boy, it's different. I'm trying to become more, you know, more kind and generous. I want to be there to help them out, no matter how small the problem. Two. Heather, I have to say, five years ago, I was a completely different person. 
I never said much in a crowd, and I always tried to avoid making small talk with people I didn't know very well. But really, I was just incredibly shy and reserved. Anyway, then I went away to college, and I had this roommate, Nora. She had a great sense of humor and laughed at all my jokes. That really gave me a lot of confidence. Nora and I joined a small study group at school. When we finish studying, a bunch of us go out for coffee. Conversation is easy because we all have a lot of the same interests. Now, my new friends think of me as the funny one in the group. Can you believe it? So I'd say I'm much more friendly and outgoing now. I don't worry about speaking up and giving my opinion anymore. In fact, I'm thinking about joining a few more clubs so I can meet even more new people and do more things. Okay. Now with your partner, we're gonna try one more time with 1.5 in the platform 1.5, you're going to answer the questions, okay? So with your partner, from the information that you have, you are going to look and select who said it, Marcos or Heather, okay? Which one would be the best option for those?
Okay, Oli. Tell me, what's number one? Is header. Number one is header. Okay, good. What about number two? Who's number two? Marcos. 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 Number two. Okay. Number three, who's number three? Marcos. 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 And number four? Heather. 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 Okay. Let's take a look, make sure. Excellent, all of those are correct. Any questions? Not teacher. Not teacher. I have a question. <laughs> yes. Is this advanced English course? Because uh, in, I was checking the platform and I don't have this course yet. You don't have this course? Mm, no. What I just course? have pre advanced one, two, and three. Uh, then you are not in this course. Uh, you are not registered yet, but it's important, Rigoberto. To, to write because yes, this is the advanced one. Yes, uh, I'm taking this course, but uh, I think you uh, you haven't joined me to the platform or something related. But if you are taking this course, is because you are joined in the platform because the link is for this platform. Yes, I can join to the platform, but I don't see, I cannot see, advanced course or something like that. I just have pre-advanced one, two, and three. The la and those are the last courses that I have taken. Uh, then it's a good idea to write in the WhatsApp group uh, to the coordinators. That way they can fix because you see, this is the advanced mm -hmm. module one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because I if you don't... Don't have access to the course is how how did you get access to the class uh, they send it to me a link uh-huh and in the link is not the link for the advanced course no yes there is the link but uh, when i but, join to the course i cannot to the platform okay i cannot see that no problem that's okay only is necessary to write in the in the whatsapp and that way they can fix it Okay. Mm -hmm. This is the best way. Is the fastest way is in the WhatsApp. Uh, thank you. I will do it. Okay. Great. All right. So now, guys, we're going to go ahead and continue. We already have the ideas for who they were. And here, we're going to have a little bit of information about our next objective. Miguel Angel, can you please read the objective? One point. 1.6 lection mm -hmm. objective at the end of this section participants will be able, able to understand and use noun clause after b okay good only the pronunciation able able oh, able. able okay okay, okay. thanks teacher you're welcome good so let's watch a little bit about noun clauses that way you can understand and then we can use it to describe. Hi, please read the following article. Can you find the noun clause in the last example? I'll give you 30 seconds to read it and identify it. You may begin. Can you see? It looks like it looks like a bad picture, or no? Can you read it? It's un poco borroso. Yeah, it, I it, know. It's like yes. a bad picture. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Maybe they fix it. Mm -hmm. Did you find it? Let's do it together. There is only one bathroom. Noun clauses have to be 
Remember, a noun causes a group of words that function together as a noun. It can be the subject of a sentence or the object of a verb. We want you to pay attention on. The word that signals the beginning of a noun clause. That in noun clauses after be is optional. Also notice the prepositions that are used with the following noun. Let's work on an example. One benefit of being an only child is that you get a lot of attention. Okay, I think it's easier in this part. The noun clause is just, think of it as extra information, more details, more description. That is the idea. So, okay, you have an older brother, okay? And there's an advantage of the older brother. The idea of the noun clause is what? What is the advantage? What is the best thing? What is the problem? This is the idea for the noun clause, to give the more information and answer the question what? And you do that by using the word that or just going directly with the information. Is that okay? Yes. Okay. So remember, it's just extra information. That's it. It's only extra information. Teacher, and Let's work on the, it. Sorry, is a difference between the, the preposition? Uh, only for the sentence. So, for example, advantage uh, of, you cannot say the advantage about or the advantage with. And a problem, when you have a problem, you have a problem with, not a problem about. Oh, okay. Mm hmm Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. An example. One benefit of being an only child is that you get a lot of attention. That you get a lot of attention is a noun clause. Every noun clause has a subject and a predicate. In the above example, you is the subject and get is the verb. Complete the sentences with your own ideas. Then, compare them with a partner in class. Number one, an advantage of being a twin. Number two, a problem with being an only child. Okay, so you see, it's only to describe and give them more information. So you describe ah, uh, a benefit, something good about having a job, something bad about having a job, something good about having a, a, of speaking English. Okay, this is the noun clause. So as an example, I tell Marielos, the good thing about speaking English, but I don't have information. The noun clause, I give the information. The good thing about speaking English is that you can communicate with many people from all over the world. It's okay, the idea of the noun clause? Okay. Yes. Think about where you live, in the area where, where you live. What is the good and the bad about the area where you live? Give me one example. And the good thing that I work in half a time is I have more time to share with my family. Good. Only remember the word noise is not half time, it's part time. Part time, okay. Very good. Thank you, Mario. That's it. The good thing about working part time, sentence. And then the noun clause, ah, the is, and then the information. Ah, I have more time for my family. Okay. Tell me, good thing or bad thing about where you live, your job, your profession, whatever. Maybe, maybe for example, uh, but the things about living in El Salvador mm -hmm. is that there is gun members okay. in every mm -hmm. Okay, okay, that's it. That is your opinion and the gang members. And then is the gang members is the noun clause. That is the extra information. Nelsi. Okay, teacher. A good thing to work near, near to, uh, to my house is to be on time for dinner. Oh, nice. <laughs> Very good. 
Yeah, yeah that's excellent. That's a good thing about being near your house. Yes. Mm -hmm. Good. And now you understand this is for anything, not only good or bad. You can give different opinions. The nice thing, the benefit, the problem, does it, any opinion, and then you describe. For example, I think uh, Miguel Angel said he was married. Correct me, Henry? Yes. Uh, yes. Benefit. Uh, uh, and me is married is I uh, cooking delicious uh, forever. You, you cook. Uh, my wife, my wife. Ah, is, ah, my wife. Ah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so my wife is cooking. There you go. My wife cooks. Exactly. My wife cooks. This is the idea. So in this moment, now we're going to talk with our groups in the small groups, the benefits, the good, the bad, the negative of being married, being single, living in San Salvador, speaking in all of the different situations. The idea is practice, practice, noun clauses, extra information. Okay. Okay, teacher, thanks. It's okay? It's okay. It's clear. Okay. Let's try with our partners. Katia, you okay? Katia? Katya, you okay?
Okay. Any questions? It's okay. All right. Let me listen to some examples. Let's see. Samsung, tell me. Milton. Milton. I don't know, but it's Samsung. <laughs> I say Samsung. <laughs> Uh huh. Milton. Samsung. <laughs> it's Milton. What a strange name. <laughs> his, his... Hey, teacher. Sorry. Hey, hey, tell me what. You tell me. You tell me, Samsung. What Samsung. is? Yes. Samsung telephone. The, uh huh. Is the name? Is the name in there? I don't know the name. <laughs> what is your name? Milton. Ah. So when you enter, put put your name. Only put Milton. Milton. Yes. I changed for you. No problem, Milton. <laughs> hey, Samsung. What, what's up, Samsung teacher? <laughs> uh huh. It, you okay. put you put the name Samsung. I put I say Samsung. <laughs> really? Okay. Okay. No. No problem. Uh huh. For example, Oli. That that the name Oli. I I say Oli. <laughs> yes. 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 It will. All right. I am I am Oli. You forever. are Oli forever. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Milton. Tell me. Give me an example. Something. Positive, negative, benefit. Give me a noun clause. Go ahead. In me, in me, in my life. Okay, in your life. In my life, I is I live in in Apopa, in Algor and Soyapango. Uh, the benefit is the uh, Apopa city in Soyapango city. The uh, relative uh, they are uh, next. Uh, uh, near, near, but when you you drive the the apopa to Soyapango, the traffic is very is is heavy, is heavy all days, all days in the morning, uh, and the afternoon is a uh, is a problem because you need uh, more time for, for transportation. Is a is a negative. Uh, the benefit is is the trajectory is very very short. Okay, good, Milton. Now I need you to give me a sentence, Milton. No explanation. I need to you. I need you to use the grammar and make a sentence. Ah, okay. Uh, as an example, Milton. As an example, the benefit of living in a popa is that it is very close to Soyapango. Uh, or the, in the negative or live in Apopa is the traffic uh, on the road. Exactly. There you go. Okay. You okay. That's, that is good fluency. That is the okay. fluency. Good job, okay, Milton. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. All right. Let's listen to Sirhan. Sirhan, give me one example. Uh, uh, I do think that the pupusas is better in the night. It pupusas in the night. Uh huh. But this is not using the noun clause. This is a sentence. The clause. I I do think that the pupusas is good. It's eating in the night. Okay. So you have a you have the idea. You have the idea, Sirhan, but not the grammar. So you have to put the a good thing about pupusas. Remember, you need the topic. The topic, a good thing about pupusas. What is the good thing about pupusas? It's better it, in, in the night. Correct. There you go. A good thing about pupusa is you can can eat you, can, you eat. can eat at night in is not correct for night only at, at night. night okay good 
Okay, Sirhan, give me one correct sentence. Uh, I live in Quetzaltepec is benefit for the, the benefit. I live in El Salvador is benefit for a quiet city. Mm, no, no, Sirham, you have to practice a little bit more the grammar. Okay, so no, I living, so living in El Salvador, living in a popa, okay? What is the, the benefit? Okay, living in, in San Salvador, what happens? Because, because uh, the old, the old mall is near to the place. Okay, so you have the idea. So I think only is necessary change the order, Sirhan. So the benefit of living in San Salvador is all the malls are near. Okay. Always first your opinion, the benefit, the negative, the positive, the good thing, the bad thing. Then the topic of living in San Salvador, of pupusas, if the, of being married, and then the explanation, okay? okay thank you. Too. All right, you're welcome. Oli, give me one example. Teacher, I, one example yes, of the, the benefit when I, I live early is don't, don't uh, heavy traffic. So, so the idea is good, but not the vocabulary. The benefit oh. of leaving early, the benefit leaving of early. leaving early is there is no traffic. Okay, the benefit is leaving early is don't traffic. No, no don't. There is. There is. No traffic. There is not, oh, there is not traffic. Okay, Correct. okay, teacher. Okay, good. Okay. All right, Oli, go. Okay, one benefit in living in San Salvador is near and the pharmacy. Good, the... Only, only change, not near the pharmacy. The pharmacy is near. Yes, the pharmacy is near. Correct. Um, Only the order. Mm -hmm. um, supermarket. Um, okay, Oli. Give me one sentence. Good fluency. Go. Okay. Go. Next. No, no, no. <laughs> Again, Oli. Again. Good fluency. Go. Uh, uh, oh. Is benefit a uh, uh, near college, uh, near university? Um, is traffic is, is fluid? Yes. Um, so, so, Oli. Because so, you need to put activity. So, for example, the benefit of living near the university? Yes. Okay. Tell me, Oli. Um, supermarket. No, no. Tell me the sentence. No. Tell me the sentence. So living near the university. I will contest me. I married. I I my husband. <laughs> no, no, no. Your husband, Jude. Tell me, Oli. Tell me. Ya sé. Yo ya sé que él. I, I, I know. I know. I know. <laughs> Uh -huh. Yes, yeah. what well, I know. I, I, I to be married. I it's a benefit. Uh, yes, it's the same. It's the same. Hace dos cursos era lo mismo, Boli. Ya te tengo la mira. They are the same. Ya, ya, ya no voy a encender la cámara. Yo son las nueve. <laughs> Okay, guys. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank it's you. a benefit. It's a marriage. It's a healthy uh, uh, to husband. Okay. It's yes, the idea. The idea yes, is good. Yes. Speaking English is my head. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. We are going to stop. 
and tomorrow we are going to continue and practice, practice, practice. Okay. 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 Teacher. All right, guys. Okay, Good night. teacher. Bye. 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 Good night, teacher. Good night. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Bye. Bye.